My name is Peter Hines and I live, work, and train in Anchorage, Alaska. I study engineering and I compete in Nordic racing at the University of Alaska Anchorage. And one thing that I've really come to love about living in Anchorage for 21 years is the feeling of connectedness and understanding I have of this place and the seasons and weather systems and snowpack and terrain and flora and fauna and infrastructure of Anchorage. All of these things come together for me to form a powerful connection with this city. So that's enough about me, but the age old question still stands. Why go to college in the first place? Let's go for a ride. All the standard answers to that question are valid. However, the biggest one for me has been the connections and the expanding of my worldview that I've experienced in the last two years at UAA. Engineering at UAA has had an effect of making the world seem a little bit less large and a little bit less complex while at the same time expanding the limits of my, of my horizon and being able to actually see myself changing a lot of these behemoth systems like highway transportation and paving and concrete structures. A lot of these systems now seem much less complex to me as I'm understanding the fundamentals upon which they're built. And with that comes kind of a critical analysis of these systems now that they're less complex. I can see them on eye level and can start to pick apart the flaws within them. We're at Point Waranzoff near Poshmark Drive in Anchorage, Alaska. This is the site of a notorious aircraft de-icing effluent pipe, which dumps lightly treated effluent directly into Kinnick Arm. It is one of the examples of where lax regulations and a weak will to enact better engineering principles becomes a negative externality for the environment. As you walk down here, you can smell the faintly sweet acrid smell and rusty brown color of propylene glycol as it flows from this culvert out of the airport into Kinnick Arm. This here is a great example of why a college education matters in the grand scheme of a community. Nothing about this discharge pipe is illegal. In fact, permitting has made sure that the high pH and the dissolved oxygen levels all fall within an acceptable benchmark. Yet, this system is not optimized and it is clearly dangerous for aquatic life in the community. My point here is there's no good excuse to have a bad system other than lack of courage or effort to design a better one. That's why I'm dedicated to continue my education, learning sound engineering, and becoming good enough to fix lazy systems like this one here at Point Moranzoff. <laughs>